In accordance with prophecy, the end is nigh. Our, wa our rascally friends, not you, monkey, the ancient Mayans, have set us up for the fall. They've set their doomsday clock for 12 21 12. And this Friday, I'm afraid to tell you, it may very well be the end of the world as you know it. <laughs> Theatrical conceit. <laughs> he said quietly. It is possible that the world may actually end. Take that for a moment. Prepare yourself for boiling oceans of blood. Yay! Prepare yourself for the sky to go ablaze. Yay! Prepare yourself for the moon to split open like Thunder the Barbarian. But before you pick out your mutant vehicle and fancy Mad Max attire, I want to give you what will most likely be your only sobering thought for the evening. This could be it. There could be, I'm talking about the reckoning. I'm talking about a cosmological event that swoops into the room and says, pencils down, universe is over. How did you do? <laughs> I mean, stop and think about it for a minute. Can you imagine if any molecule in your body went uh, along with me at the thought of having to actually account for where we've been so far? Oh. Ask me later. But if you could possibly imagine that horrible thought, think about this. The apocalypse is the greatest thing on earth. It's the ultimate coin toss. You know that thing where you flip a coin because you can't make up your mind and the minute it hits the top, you know exactly what you really wanted? And you've got till Friday to work that out. No pressure. No, no problem at all. Just get on that tomorrow. But here's the thing. You know now. Most people, most people go their whole lives without ever having that clarifying thought. And you've got the apocalypse to clear it all up for you. This is a great moment. Kind of. Okay, truth be told, I've been around a while. I've been through a couple of apocalypse-i... apocalypse seas. apocalypse seas. I've been... I, the world's almost ended a bunch of times. Yeah, that was awesome. We just got new computers. So, yeah, I've been through it, and statistically, the truth is, odds are in favor of us managing to make it through. It, it, is, it, is, it is possible that we will not go in a puff of electrons and memories. But on the off chance, on the off chance we're done, there's two things on my mind. The first one is that we all now know what I'm about to give you, which is the greatest. Some of you aren't going to be here next week, so I'm going to give you the holiday gift I've wanted to give you all year. The holiday gift is simply this. The Mayans did not actually say it was the end of the world. They said it was the end of this world and the beginning of the next one. And it would be an age of magic and enlightenment. And I have a theory that I hold really, it's the only serious thing I will think about tonight, hopefully. And that is this. Odds are to get to that world, whatever that wacky thought when you went, Ugh, I didn't, I want to, what if I don't get to, whatever that, no matter how nuts it was, odds are that's how we're gonna get there. So get to work. The second thought I have for you is if it's the end of the world come Friday, there is nowhere else in the universe I want to be on a Monday night than right here at the open stage. So, Viva Apocalypse, my friends. Let's get this show on the road.